Well, hello everyone. How are you? I hope you're all having a brilliant day so far and that I find you all very well indeed. And thank you ever so much for popping over just to check out this wee tiramisu recipe. Or if you're new and you're not normally here, a very warm welcome to you also. This is What's For Tea and my name is Cheryl. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why not consider subscribing just before you go and click on the wee notification bell. So today I'm I'm going to be showing you this quick and easy tiramisu recipe. Now, I've never actually made a tiramisu before making this one. I've obviously had it plenty of times, you know. It's my go-to dessert whenever I go to an Italian restaurant. If I see it on the menu, it's likely to be the thing that I will order to end my meal. But I had no idea it was quite as easy as it is. So I've done a wee bit of research. I looked at a few videos and, you know, had a wee scout around the internet. And, you know, as it turns out, it's really, really easy to make and quite quick to make and it's just one of those so Moorish quite decadent and very naughty as well you know it's not very light on the calories because you get cream in there and cheese and booze and chocolate <laughs> you know so it's not going to be for you if you're trying to watch your calorie intake but it's nice to have a wee treat now and again but yeah so I'm going to go on and show you my wee recipe and as usual all of the ingredients will be in the description box down below so let's go and see what I've got today so the first thing I've got there is two eggs. Now you just want to separate the yolks from the white. Now this is a classic tiramisu which uses eggs, but you don't have to use the eggs if you don't want to. I've also got 175 ml of strong black coffee. Now you want to make sure your coffee is cold. You don't want to use warm coffee, just make sure it's cold. I've also got 75 ml of amaretto. You could also use marsala if you prefer. I've got 250 grams of mascarpone cheese. I've got 200 mils of double cream and you're also going to need some cocoa powder for the top, you know, just at the end. And I've also got three tablespoons of caster sugar. Now caster sugar is just a very fine sugar, so you can use any sugar really, but you want to make sure it's nice and fine. And if you can't get caster sugar, you can just pop it into a food processor, you know, and grind it down. Or if you've got a, mort a mortar and pestle, you know, that kind of thing, just to make sure it's nice and fine. The last thing we're going to need are Savoyardi biscuits, or in this country they're called lady fingers or sponge fingers. You can get them absolutely everywhere and they're as cheap as chips. So that's your ingredients. Let's go and see what's next. Now you're going to need some sort of serving dish. My one is 10 by 5 inches because there are only four of us having this and we also had some left over. If you've got a bigger family, you could just double up on the ingredients and use a big square dish. This is the cocoa powder that I'm using for the end. It's a lovely one. And this is the coffee that I'm using. But if you can find or if you've got espresso, that's best. First thing we're going to do is the creamy layer. So into a bowl, you want to pop your egg yolks followed by your caster sugar. You want to whisk this together until it's pale and creamy. It'll only take a couple of minutes and it'll look like custard at the end. So you want it looking like this. Set that to the side and you can now do your egg whites. So pop into a bowl your egg whites and you want to whisk these till they're nice and stiff. And then you can set that aside. The next thing we're going to do is the double cream. So into another bowl, you just want to whisk this until it's nice and thick, but not too firm because you're going to be folding all of these things together. So that's your three things there, which we're going to fold together now. So get your eggs and your sugar back and into that you want to put your mascarpone cheese. Now just fold this together until it's nicely combined. Again, this will only take you a couple of minutes. doesn't take long. Like I said, guys, if you don't want to use the eggs, you don't have to. Because I know some folk are a bit funny about that. The next thing you do is pop in your whipped cream. Again, just fold it in till it's nicely incorporated. You just want to be quite gentle. You want to keep as much air in there as possible. And the last thing we're going to do is pop in the egg whites. Now just do this in two stages. So in with your egg whites and again, just keep folding until it's nicely incorporated. It should be looking nice and creamy, just like this one. 
The last thing I'm going to do is pop in a wee bit of amaretto. But like I said, you can use marsala if you prefer, or just leave out the booze completely if you don't want booze in there. But it's not too boozy. You can just taste it no more. Set that to the side and we're going to do our lady fingers. So grab your coffee and to that you want to add the rest of your amaretto. Give it a wee stir and then get your fingers and you want to make sure your sugared side is up. You want to give these a very quick dunk, no more than a second or two and then straight into your dish because if you over soak these are just going to expand and turn into mush and they'll be just a mess. <laughs> so you don't want that. As you can see, they're really soft just with that quick dunk in that coffee. So that's why it's important as well not to use warm coffee because, uh, you know, they are sponge fingers. They'll just disintegrate. So the next thing you want to do is pop on a layer of your cream and then just repeat that process. Soak your fingers and then just pop them on top. Really easy. But like I said, don't over soak your fingers. I can imagine that would just be a complete disaster. This is the first time I've done this, but, you know, the tutorials that I watched, they all, they couldn't stress that enough about, you know, not overdoing the coffee with your sponge fingers. And then a final layer of your cream, and I've just used a spatula to try and get it nice and flat and get that signature flat square top. And all you have to do now is pop this into the fridge. You want to give this two or three hours to set properly. And you're not going to put the cocoa powder on until it comes back out the fridge. Because if you put the cocoa on now, it's going to be really, really bitter, you know, with being in the fridge. So once you're ready to serve, get out of the fridge and pop a generous layer of cocoa powder on top and then just cut it into squares. I just ran a knife round the edge and, and with a sharp knife and a scoop and it came out really easily. I was really chuffed with this and it was so soft. The texture was incredible. So, so soft. Full of flavour and like I said, really creamy, really decadent and you can really taste the coffee in that sponge. You can't really taste the booze, it's just a wee sort of hint of almond. And like you can see there, you know, there was none left. <laughs> I actually, the, out of that dish, I get five portions, but guess who went in for the second portion? It begins with a mister and ends with tea. Greedy. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, first time I made that, and it certainly will not be the last, but I generally, I genuinely hope you do give that one a go, especially like these kind of desserts, like me. The creamier, the better. So easy to make and so quick. Absolutely foolproof but what I would say is do give it the time that it needs to set in the fridge because I have a feeling if you didn't when you went to scoop it out at the end it would just all collapse and I did keep checking you know just to make sure it was firming up and it does eventually so don't worry in the beginning if you think oh mine's is looking quite wobbly you will get there if you just give it the time that it needs so that's me so I'm going to get off now and stop rambling and thank you ever so much again especially if you're still watching and still listening in fact if you are if you're still watching and still listening pop down in the comments yes I was still there just so I know because I do like to see who actually hangs on to the end but regardless thank you very much like I said and I shall see you tomorrow I hope for meals of the week so until I see you take care and bye for now bye now